The formula you can see before you is used to do what's known as integration by parts, which is a reversal of the product rule that you use for differentiation. So the good news is that this particular formula is on your formula sheet, so you don't need to memorise it. So you start having an integration that's going to be a product of two functions of x, and the knack to this is to choose the u to be the simple one of those two functions, simple in the sense that when you differentiate the u you either get a straightforward number or something that will cancel out with the v. One in particular to look out for is if you have ln x as one of the two functions or a variation thereof always pick this to be your u because otherwise, if you look at this formula, you can see that u doesn't appear again on the right-hand side, and so you don't have to integrate it, and integrating ln x is uh, a bit more of a challenge, although we're going to go through how to do that using this formula a little bit later. The other thing I'm going to mention is that sometimes you may have to use the formula more than once. And again, I will show you an example where that's the case. So let's get into some examples and show you how this all works. So in example one here, we've got a product of two functions. So the first function here is 4x squared and the other function is ln x. And as I've just said to you, if ln x is one of the functions, that's what we need to take and use to be our u. So u is going to be the ln x, and that makes our dv dx equal to 4x squared. So what we need to do is we need to find du dx, which is straightforward. We just remember the result, so that's 1 over x. And we need to integrate on this, on the right hand side here, to find out what v would be. So that's going to be 4x to the cubed over 3. So now we're just going to use the formula to put everything together. So the first part of the formula is u times v. So we're going to have 4x cubed over 3 times by the ln x and then we're going to have minus the integral of v which is 4x cubed over 3 times by du dx which is 1 over x dx so if we tidy up that integral and pull the number out the front just to make life easier so we'll have four thirds integral of so the x on the bottom there is going to cancel with one of the x's above so we're just going to have x squared so you can now see that we've been left with an integral that's really easy to do so our final answer is going to be 4x to the cubed ln x over the 3 minus 4 thirds x cubed over 3 and obviously don't forget your plus c business there so we could tidy that up a little bit and I'm going to bring out 4 ninths here just to do that so that will leave us with 3x cubed ln x minus x cubed plus c and you'll notice that I was a bit silly there I should have brought the x cubed out shouldn't I so that will be 4x cubed over 9 and in brackets we'll have 3 ln x 
x minus 1 and r plus c. So here's our second example. So we've got 3x squared, that's one function, and we've got cos x as our other function. So for this example, we're going to use the 3x squared as our u. which means that our dv dx equals cos x. So if we differentiate u, we're going to get 6x. And if we integrate over on this side, then v will have started life as being sin x. So let's put all of that together into our formula. So it starts with u times v, so that's 3x squared sin x minus the integral of sin x, the v, times by du dx, which in this case was the 6x. So what you'll notice is that this integral here is still not simple enough for us to actually get on and do the integration. So this is a situation where we're going to use the formula all over again on this section here. I'm going to bring the 6 out so that we don't have to worry about that again. So we've got 3x squared sine x minus 6 and now we're going to repeat that process so this time i'm going to use different letters but our w instead of u i'm going to use it's going to be 6x and our dz um, dx is going to be sine x or i'm squashing that in a bit there um, so if we differentiate the w we just get 6 and if we integrate this other side we're going to get z equals now that will be minus cos x so we'll put all that together so in this case it's going to be w times z so that's going to be minus 6x cos x minus the integral of our v which is minus cos x times by our dw dx which is just 6 and you can see now that we have got it into a simpler form so that we can do the integration here so that's going to lead us to having here minus 6x cos x and then we're going to have minus so we've got minus 6 cos x here so we're going to have minus 6 sine x so now let's take everything out so we've got 3x squared sine x minus 6 times minus 6 is going to give us a plus 36 x cos x and here we've got a minus minus so that's going to be a plus but then we've got a minus outside so it's going to end up as minus 36 sine x and then let's just get the sine x terms all together so we'd have 3x squared minus 36 sine x plus 36x cos x and then don't forget to add in your c. So I promise to go through how to do the integration of ln x. So the first part of the secret to this is to rewrite this as a product and it's going to be the product of 1 times ln x because that's the only thing I can do here. 
So as we've mentioned previously, if Lunex is one of the two products that we have, then we take that to be the U. So U will be Lun X, which means that the DV DX in this situation will be one. So differentiating Lun X, we get one over X. And then V here will be X when we integrate on that side. So again, let's put it all together. So it's U times V to start with, so that's X ln x minus the integral of v which is x times by du dx which in this case is 1 over x dx and simplifying that you can see that we've now got just 1 in there to integrate which is nice and easy to do so we've got x ln x minus x plus c.